Well, it's safe to say there is a brother and sisterhood in the fire service. Firefighters band together in a time of an emergency, but also when there's a good cause. That's right. They have a great cause coming up soon and you can join them. Plenty of first responders will be coming together supporting children with cancer this weekend. Trooper Steve standing by to tell us more about the St. Baldrick's event in downtown Orlando. This is such an awesome event. Whenever it happens around town, everyone knows about it. Kids undergoing cancer treatment do often, unfortunately, lose their hair. St. Baldrick's participants are encouraged to show their support by shaving their heads also and raising awareness for childhood cancer research. Joining me right now, someone who will be braving the shave. He had just told me he's shaving the mustache too. John Clayton of the Orlando Fire Department is here, lead organizer and the team captain, sir. Appreciate you being here. With Thank you me. for having me. So first, tell me a little bit about yourself. You're with the Orlando Fire. How long have you been with the fire department? I've been a fireman for 17 years okay. with Orlando for just over 12. And then you were somewhere else before? Yep. Down? Uh, city of Kissimmee. City of Kissimmee, one of my hometowns right there. So first and foremost, um, why is this such an important event, cause, organization to you? Well, when I first started, uh, I started as a shavee, which okay. just raising money to shave my head. And then uh, I came to Orlando and picked up the event. I've been doing it for 10 years now, organizing okay. the event. And uh, I just like, you know, first responders, we like to help. And I just wanted another way to help. So how did you initially get involved in this organization? Did you get approached? Did you just see the, by shaving and being a participant and then realize, I, w I think I want to do more? I just, uh, I had friends with Orlando okay. and City of Kissimmee. Uh, my first department didn't have an event at the time, so uh, I just piggybacked onto their event and came down and started shaving. So this weekend we do have some events, hence why you are here. Yep. What is going on? Where is it happening? How does it work? Kind of educate the folks out there. So St. Baldrick's is a national organization based in California, mm -hmm. and they rely on these little feeder events to help their funding. And uh, that's what we're doing this weekend on March 4th, uh, Saturday from two to six at Ace Cafe. It's a head shaving event. Um, we're gonna have raffle prizes, all sorts of uh, games and stuff for the kids. Okay. Um, it's just gonna be a good time. So if someone watching now wanted to come out and participate, they can do that this weekend. Absolutely. And is there still time to make a team or is there a way you just show up, get your head shaved and show your support? Yeah, you, you can sign up right now. Uh, go to stbaldrick.org. Uh, you can, in the search bar, type in my name, John Clayton, or Ace Cafe. Or, He's recruiting or, for his team. You or see that? Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, and just sign up. So is this, this is a specific centralized uh, event. So this is an Orlando event. Are there other chapters around the area that people may see that, are you guys affiliated? Is, does it all go to one pot? Are you guys in support of each other? We, I mean, we definitely support each other. Um, we are, in Central Florida, we are like the biggest one. We have... Uh, Orange County Fire Department, Orlando, obviously, uh, Lake County, mm -hmm. the city of Claremont, Seminole County is big, and w one year we had Goa, the okay. airport. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's is, it is not just for firefighters. Um, it's easy to get firefighters involved. You just tell them, hey, we're doing this. And, and they go do it. They go do it. But uh, it's for anybody <laughs> and everybody, really. I remember probably several years ago, I was in that, still that transition phase from the Florida Highway Patrol out here to becoming a news anchor with News 6 and the Kissimmee Police Department, a friend of mine, Shannon Dore. She's now moved on to uh, a position out in the federal government, but she had long hair, got up there, led her team and shaved her entire head off. And she was so excited because like what we were talking about before we came on air, it's about building that awareness. What is, what do we prize the most? If you all know me, it's the hair. And to, to have that suddenly go away, I'm sure that plays a big role. It's not, it's fun, of course, but there's more behind that. It, well, it makes an impact. When you see four, you know, four guys from a fire engine, they're all freshly bald, you know, they all banded together and did it as a crew. Uh, people ask questions and that's what it's really about. They ask the questions, we give the answers and grow the awareness. Grow the awareness. Awesome. Well, this weekend they will be having that event and you can attend at the Central Florida St. Baldrick's event from 2 o'clock till 6 p.m. at the Ace Cafe. Now that's in downtown Orlando off of 100 West Livingston. Uh, it is an amazing location. You can kind of see it right off of I-4 there. Come out, check it out. Sir, thank you thank for you. joining us. Appreciate it. Over to you guys. Um, don't, don't shake the statue. 